In this video, we're gonna create this artistic font. So let's start. Okay guys, so first create a document which is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels and the resolution put it at 72. So here's the file. You can see the background is white. So let's add a color. Go to the box here, click once and put 2E, 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 which is a gray color. Press OK and with the bucket tool from here, press once on the background and you will have a gray background. Okay, so now let's add a text. So go to the type tool from here and click once and press a r t which is art and let's put it another color so you can see it maybe this gray color press ok and the size put it at 150 and the font put it billion dreams which is a link in the description below you can download it anytime so now let's go to the move tool and move it somewhere in the middle and from the layers here press ctrl j to copy the layer so now you have two copies of the word art and now let's work with the original one here. Right click on it, go to blending options and let's add a stroke. Put it at 7 and the color put it 0166A6. Press OK and you will have this blue stroke and press OK and that's it for the first layer. And now let's move to art copy here and right click on it and go to blending options and let's add another stroke. And this time, let's put the color at 033A69 and press OK. And the size put it at 4 and you can see this very small stroke here. So now we need to add an inner shadow. Put it white, opacity 100 and the angle put it 180 and the distance 6, choke 100, size 9 and check on anti-aliased. And you can see the inner shadow here. It looks nice. And now let's add a gradient overlay and put the blend mode on normal, opacity 100. Click on the gradient and the first color here, which is location 0, put it 90C7E7 and press OK. And the other color, which is location 100, put it 367FD9 and press OK and OK and put the style reflected, aligned with layer, and the angle 90, and the scale put it at 90. You can maybe put it at 130 if you want, but I think 90 works best here. And last, we need to add a drop shadow. Put it at 100 opacity, and the angle is 72, and put it 7 distance, 100 spread, and 2 size. And then the color, put it 0 to 3d 6a and press ok and then ok and that's it for the art copy you can zoom in and you can see this blue line here is the drop shadow so you can just move it and try with the arrow keys just place the drop shadow which is this blue here on top of the gray area exactly on top so just move it and i think this is perfect okay so now let's zoom out and you will have this nice effect so now select both layers holding shift and go to layer and merge layers and now they are one layer so now we need to add blending options to the merged layer so right click on it go to blending options and now again let's add a stroke and let's put it at 10 and this time put the color at black and leave the same options here. And now let's add an outer glow. And let's put it at normal, opacity 100, and the color is white, and the technique is softer, spread 100, and the size 14, and the range is 100. And you will have this nice outer glow, which is the other white stroke here. And last, we need to add a drop shadow. So click on the drop shadow here, and put it at black, and the blend mode is normal, opacity put it at 30 maybe. And the distance put it at 43. And now you can see the drop shadow here. So the spread put it 0 and the size 0. And I think we're done here. Maybe the angle, let's put it at 135. I think this looks better. Keep changing it until it has the best spot. 
I think this is fine. So press OK. And we're done.